Hi, welcome in. I am Trucker Rudy from Canada, and to find out what we are up to today, stay tuned right after the intro. <music> Taking wheels rolling down the road Nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the... Good morning, good morning guys! How's everybody doing this fine Saturday morning? Well, if you want to know how I am doing, I am doing fantastic today. Yes, sir, Bob. I'm just having a blast this morning. Left early this morning and I forgot to plug in my uh, GoPro there last night and uh, I wasn't completely dead there this morning, but I wanted to charge it up before I set it up, you know, so I plugged her in and charged her up, so I know we've been on the road here for a while already. So I figured, well, that's time to say good morning to you guys. Yeah. I hope all of you guys are going to have a fantastic weekend. I know I'm going to be out here on the road, but uh, hey. It's a lot of truck drivers out here on the road every weekend every single weekend there's a lot of truck drivers on the road and that's the way it goes that really is the way it goes there we are about I'd say about 45 miles 50 miles away from Dallas Texas that is Yeah, so we'll see what kind, of, what kind of traffic we will have today going into Dallas. I suspect it's going to be alright because it's Saturday. And it's not raining either. There were a couple of days ago when I uh, didn't make my appointment at that delivery place there. It was raining and a bunch of accidents and stuff like that. So today is nice and sunny. Yep. We like it that way. So then it should be alright, especially considering it's Saturday and it's nice and sunny. So we gotta go to Dallas. I think we're gonna go drive up to Oklahoma City. And then I think I will uh, have to fuel up. I don't think I'll be able to go any further than that. That's about the furthest I think I can make her. Remember, the last time I filled was in Oklahoma City. So I went all the way up there to Laredo, Houston, and back to uh, Oklahoma. If we can make it back there, I think we can. We just have to wait and see, I guess. But I think I'm pretty comfortable saying that we will be able to make it up there. So. We'll go up there, fuel it up, and, and put the hammer down towards uh, Madison and Alberta. Yeah. I haven't even looked on how far I'm even going to drive today. But we got a full three days to go, that's for sure. Matter of fact, I still have 1,824 miles to go till I get to my delivery place. So I know it's more than two days. I can probably do about 1,250 miles in two days. So that'll leave me with uh, well, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That leaves me with another 500 miles. So, so yeah, I guess I got uh, three full days to go. Pretty much. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Well, I guess Monday night I could actually uh, could actually get to uh, my delivery place Monday. So that'll be awesome. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. 
that goes to uh, according to plan and uh, I will uh, make myself an appointment uh, in Steinbach at the uh, Volvo dealership there. We actually do have a Volvo dealership in Steinbach already. Or a Volvo partnership or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to get my safety inspection done see if my truck will pass safety and I've heard that they have actually changed uh, safety rules that uh, now they do one inspection and then you're good for one year now at least that's what I've heard I don't know if that's going to be the case for sure but uh, I guess we will find out and then I also do need to take a uh, hazmat uh, I guess dangerous goods course. I need to renew my license before October 15th. So I'm gonna try and do that right away too while I'm at it. And hopefully uh, I can do that. Hopefully he will have time. I don't know if he will be doing orientation next week. If he does orientation this next week, that might be hard for me to do hard to get in but if he doesn't do orientation then it's usually easier to, to get in then I can pretty much get in any day I want uh, Monday to Friday you know but if he does orientation then he has a particular day that he does the uh, dangerous goods uh, course and if I'm not home on that particular day I have to wait till the following week or or whatever you know so anyways uh, so it goes I want to try and get that all behind me so that way that's done with, my safety is done with. No need to worry about that anymore, you know. You know, it's uh, probably going to be the uh, 15th, 16th already by the time I get home. So I at least want to get my safety uh, inspection done. So that way, uh, if there is something wrong, it gives me a chance to get it fixed. And then we're good to go, you know. Anyways, that's uh, just the way life goes. But we are having a good day. We really are. But I'm going to try and make it home there uh, for sure for Wednesday night or something like that. And then uh, I'll make myself available again for uh, Friday. I think that's my plan anyways. And then I'll try to go Friday and get me a nice long trip again. And then try to be back maybe for uh, the following Friday. Because you know what? That's an important date for me. Yes it is. That is when Apple will launch their new iPhone. In the Apple stores around the countries or at least Canada and the United States. I don't know about all the other countries, but that's when they're planning to uh, release the iPhones. And I want to get me one. Yep. I'll probably just end up buying it right out because I don't want to go to Rogers and get me another two-year contract and all that fun stuff. May as well just go and pay it right out that way I don't have to worry about it. I can cancel my contract anytime. Mind you, my contract on my particular phone actually still is uh, a year and a half contract almost because, uh, well, maybe not quite, but maybe about a year and a quarter because I only bought the phone last year in December 5th. That's when I bought this phone. See, my wife's contract is just about over and uh, she's having problems with her phone so I figured well I'll give her my phone and then uh, I'll get me the new phone and this phone is almost brand new so I mean nothing wrong with this phone but her phone is having problems with charging she can't she's having a hard time charging it so Figure I'll give her this phone that way I get me a new phone and 
Yep. Anyways, I gotta scale this load somewhere yet. I like to do that before I get to Oklahoma. I know Oklahoma scales are more prompt to be open than up here in Texas. Yep. Anyways, let's continue on rolling and uh, see how much fun we can have today. We are coming into Dallas. Yeah. The area where we were stuck for a couple of days. That's right. That's right. But we are just coming into it right now. Right over the top of the hill here you'll see the big city way up there in this distance if the camera picks it up I think it does it's a very nice clear sky today so should be able to see all them high rising buildings up there which I think we should be able to see today because I think we will be going through town pretty close through them big town uh, big towers up there you know We'll see what we can show you. Here we go guys, we gotta take this exit here, but right up there to the left, that's where you see the big city. Feet yeah. To the left on and then go straight in We're zero gonna go towards that. At least that's what I think. Oh, we saw a lot of homeless people here to the left underneath that bridge, eh? They're tenting out, and stuff like that. Straight on, and then keep it's always the sad to see though. Miles. Look at that big city up ahead of us there. I love it, that's gorgeous. Wow, there's not even a backup over here? Usually there is a backup like right here, you know? I come down here so many times and there is like bumper to bumper traffic right here, you know? And I guess today is my lucky day! Today is my lucky day! Well, I wish it would have been like this here a couple of days ago when I had to do my delivery. That would have been nice. That would have been super nice. Yes. I gotta go over to that other lane. Because I gotta go 30 north. And this lane ends. That's what that thing says up there. I gotta go north on 35E to Dayton. That's where I In remember guys. To the right on I-30 West I-35 E North and then slide right in 0.4 miles. That's the truck stop I was staying at, the TA there at Dayton, Texas. Yeah. In a That's where we're going to head towards. To the right on I-30 West I-35 E North and then slide right in 0.4 miles. Alright RJ, you tell them, you tell them. You go ahead and just tell them right out. I don't have to tell them, right? Yeah, look at that. This place has been under construction heavily, heavily for the last little while. I think I gotta go into that right lane there. Pretty sure. In a quarter mile, slide right on I 35 B North. They don't care that that's where I gotta go. There we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. It says there's supposed to be two lanes, but I think because it's all under construction, it's actually only one lane turning up here, you know? I remember even last time when I come through here, it was a little bit heavy traffic and the car was cutting me off right here. And I was talking about this construction, remember that guys? Some of you will. This is the exact same place. Yes it is. Continue on this road for five miles. Five miles, all right. Now this, uh, this thing is changing, changing up here. Look at that glass building up there. Isn't that gorgeous or something? I love that. That's beautiful. Well, there's even a big plane coming down over there. Nice high-rise buildings up here. Yep, I'm just gonna try and move her over. Always supposed to be in the right lane, so. Over into the right lane, for the right lane, slowly, as traffic allows us, you know. Speed warning. Okay. Nice overpasses again. Yes. I love going through Dallas. 
slow I mean especially when it's not rush hour <laughs> I mean I don't know what it was the other day I mean I I swear any other day of the week if it wouldn't have been raining or anything crazy like that I can almost guarantee you I would have been there half an hour early you know and all I was like 45 minutes late the way it goes you can't win everyone every single time you know anyways I'm still talking about that I guess it's because I'm in Dallas right now <laughs> that's probably why look at that huge apartment here to the left wow that's a big apartment they're building another one up here to the right yeah remember I was talking about that waterfall right there by that sign Yep, I remember that. I showed you guys this part. Then I was talking about this white building up here. Yep, that's it. That's what I was talking about. I remember that very clearly. Oh, I do. Not always that I remember all my videos, but I do remember some parts of it, you know. That's for sure. Alrighty, guys, we are in Oklahoma now. I have decided to make a pit stop. The reason why I'm doing a pit stop is uh, I want to actually scale my load. I haven't actually scaled my load. I do want to make uh, make that pit stop and scale this load. I don't know, maybe I'll go have me a shower. Yeah, I think I should probably go ahead and have me a shower. Let's get her on the scale up here. Scale this bad boy and see how damaging it is today. Yep. Let's see. Let's have a look at it. All right, guys, we'll be back. All righty, guys, we are walking inside. We got the bag with us. We're gonna go have a shower right away. So let's come inside and get our scale ticket and we'll go have a shower. That's it guys, we are in the shower. How about look at the scale ticket. Yes, we're actually doing pretty good. I thought I was gonna be heavier than that. Mind you, I'm almost empty and filled, but uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty nice shower. How about look at it. So everything is really nice. Look at the bag splash on it. Actually it looks pretty good. Nice big size shower, yeah, nice shower head and everything. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna go have me a good shower because uh, I'm smelling like crazy. Nobody would wanna be around me right now. So let's have ourselves a shower and get out of here. Well, that's it guys. We had ourselves a much needed shower. We scaled the load. I was gonna go inside the restaurant and get me a bite to eat, but uh, they just have Humpty, so whatever you want to call it in here. And I personally don't really like that restaurant. I really don't. If they had a Denny's in here, I would have gone in there and had me a steak and eggs. And that's what I was kind of hoping for, but uh, they didn't have it, so we're out of here. I just grabbed me a couple of burritos. Well, actually, no, I grabbed me one burrito and a couple of chicken wings and a drink, and we are out of here. So now we're going to go over to uh, Oklahoma City, which is about an hour and 45 minutes drive, and then we'll fill up over there. I would have filled up over here, but I looked on the internet, and up here the uh, diesel is. Uh, like 234 and in uh, Oklahoma there at the Flying J it's like 225 or 224 or something like that so it was like 10 cents a gallon cheaper and I can still make it up to Oklahoma City as I was saying earlier so I'm gonna go up to Oklahoma City and fuel it up over there. I mean, 10 cents a gallon. Take the entrance to the That's left a lot of money. North. Yes, sir, Bob, it is. Let's get onto this I-35 here and uh, 
left in 800 feet. Take the entrance to the left on I-35 North. Get over to Oklahoma City, so we'll see you guys uh, a little bit later. I think there the is some kind of car show going on. Because, uh, not right now, but a little bit ago, there was a bunch of Ford Mustangs that were just zipping by me like crazy. They were just giving her. And then a little bit later, there was a couple other muscle cars that were coming by me there. Too bad I didn't have my cameras on, you know? Because these guys were just flying. They were just giving her, you know? And I'm keeping an eye on my mirror here and I'll see if they're gonna do the same thing again, you know? There's another Honda, or no, that's a BMW, it looks like. Yeah, he's just giving her too. Look at this motorcycle, holy smokes. That's 60 mile an hour here, and I'm going 60. Look at these guys just fly by me. There goes another one. These guys are crazy. <laughs> wow. There must be some kind of show going on, that's for sure. That's a weird car. Look at them tiny tires that that car has got on. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something going on, that's for sure. That's, that's a definite. Anyways, let's uh, keep our eyes open and hope we can stay safe. There's another one here coming down here real fast here, look at that. I look like a new type of Subaru. Yeah, look at that truck. <laughs> With them white ass tires. <laughs> oh man, there's definitely some kind of car show going on, that's for sure. There's a lot of interesting cars coming by. Here's another one, like a Cadillac. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, I don't know where they're all going, but they're going somewhere, that's for sure. Pickup truck, there's another sports car. This is crazy. We gotta take this exit and go to the Flying J up here and get some Google -go juice. Yeah. It's time to fuel her up. As I said before, we have to fuel up in Oklahoma City. Well, I guess we don't have to, but that's where the fuel is the cheapest and that's where I'm gonna go fuel her up. This intersection is always a little dangerous for me because uh, you can't really see what's coming up on there. Not very easily anyways. It's kind of difficult to see that way. Oh, we got it. But anyways, we're gonna go to the Flying J up here. Put some Google -Go juice in. Put the hammer down further north. I just want to show you guys a little bit on what it looks like here at the Flying J. Let's just take a look. The fuel island is way over there where you see that red uh, banner for that building. And that's how many trucks are over here trying to get fuel, eh? Just crazy. Most of them are like three truck lengths long just trying to get fuel. I guess that just pays off to get the fuel a little cheaper, right? That's it guys, we finally got our fuel. Yeah. Took us all together about 45 minutes to get our fuel. We're nearly half an hour waiting in line. Finally got our fuel. Now it's time to get out of here. Yeah. It is pretty darn warm up here too. So let's put the hammer down and uh, get back on the interstate. And uh, start heading north. Well, we got our fuel, that's the main thing. We got 221 gallons worth of fuel. Now tell me you guys as formulars. How would you like to sit in line for half an hour to get your fuel? Tell me down below in the comments down below. What would you say about that? Having to wait half an hour just to get your fuel. I think most of you guys would be pissed. I think so. I think most of the four-wheelers would be screaming crazy and mad. 
having to wait that long, you know. But hey, that's the way it goes. Turn right on expressway. I'm used to it though. That doesn't happen every day, but every once in a while that happens. You just gotta be patient. You just have to have patience. That's it. Here we go. Let's go back onto this I-35 Lord. Take the entrance to the right on I-35 North I-44 East. Yeah, that's right. It's a gorgeous day out here, that's for sure though. So let's get onto this highway and uh, have ourselves a good rest of our day today. It's been a good day so far. Alrighty guys, we are just entering Kansas. Well, we entered Kansas here a little bit ago, but uh, this I-35 is a toll highway up here in Kansas. So we gotta take a ticket up here. Alright, so that's what it looks like. We got our ticket. So when we uh, exit at the other end, we gotta show them that ticket and they will tell us what our damage is, you know? How much we gotta pay them to run on this highway. Anyways, well, I uh, just figured I'd show that to you guys and uh, give you guys a little bit of an idea, especially for the uh, Canadians or, or the ones that are from different countries that don't know what a toll highway is get to see it right here alrighty we'll be right back guys that's it guys we are done for today yeah I got one truck beside me here and there's one way over there probably parking for another eight or ten trucks in between me and the other guy and that's it small little truck stop up here but they do have a subway up there which is actually kind of nice that they do have that so that way we can go ahead and have ourselves at least a little bit of something to eat and i kind of like subway you know it is actually one of my places that i would like to go anyways so watch i did do i did go over there matter of fact they even got a truck wash over here i don't know how that truck wash works if you gotta wash it yourself or how it works but uh they got a truck wash in here a uh, car wash in there as well obviously but we are done for today we did have a very big day today i think this is the biggest day i've ever done in the united states but uh hey that's the way it goes and uh i figured i'd do a good day today and tomorrow and that way i could at least make it into the head by monday evening you know if i didn't do this today i probably could have not made it to the hat Madison hat Monday evening which was my plan that way hopefully I can get me a reload there on Tuesday and be home for Tuesday night because I can actually make it home in one shot from uh, from Madison hat to Steinbach so we'll see what happens though we'll just have to wait and see I guess but uh, I'm ready to hit the bed I just finished putting the video together from yesterday so so now it's bedtime I just finish finished the show and uh, I have to say goodbye to you guys again hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog though I hope you guys enjoyed uh, some of the longer vlogs that I've been managing to put up lately I know not everybody's gonna like them but uh, I think for most of you folks probably like it so uh, if you uh, like it leave me a comment down below let, give me a big thumbs up let me know if you like it or not and uh, be sure to stay or stick around for tomorrow because there's all kinds of things coming up tomorrow you never know what happens out here this is not a show where we go on a strict note on what we are going to do or say it is literally what happens today is what you get to see so that's it for us today have a good one and be sure to stick around for the next one <laughs>